Hi everyone, welcome to my short series, Play Smarter Not Harder, helping you take full advantage of what Elden Ring has to offer. In this episode we're going to be going over a few early game pickups just to help give you a little extra boost along with pierce damage and an Astral War that helps you get a little more reach. So simple grabs early in the game is the strength tier. Simply head east from the Stormhill Shack and then continue on that east path. We're also going to grab the Ash of War Golden Vow from this mounted knight here. This is a nice handy Ash of War. Simply slap it on a dagger, keep it in the offhand or wherever you want, and cast it before various battles. From here, we're going to go grab the Lance, one of the early pierce weapons in the game. Then, we're going to make our way down to our friend Jarbro. The Lance is a great spear tier weapon which gives it decent damage, good strength scaling, along with some decent posture damage. Make sure you grab the Exalted Flesh off of Jarbro before you stab him in the back. Taking him out early for his Talisman is not a bad idea. The better Talisman is so late in the game. This Talisman gives you a nice boost to your Ash of War damage, and it's nice to have for the majority of your playthrough. We're going to focus on the Ash of War Giant Hunt. Giant Hunt is available from this Knight's Cavalry in Lyarnia. This enemy can be a bit of a handful at low levels with a low level weapon. Here I'm using a plus zero Nagakiba, just enough stats to use the buffs. Leveling up your weapon and your stats a bit might be necessary for taking him out. Fortunately, they are not weak to a whole lot, they will take slightly more pierce damage. Lead is never a bad idea. The Ash of War Giant Hunt can be used on most thrusting weapons and large weapons that have a thrust attack. The Ash of War naturally does pierce damage. The Ash of War gives you good reach, especially on enemies that you can walk underneath. This allows you to hit them in the spots of their body that might take more damage. This works especially well against dragons going for headshots, which is what I'll primarily be showcasing. The Ash of War also has a launch mechanic that works against most smaller humanoid enemies. It will also work on some bosses such as Renala and Millennia. Weapons that do pierce damage can also do counter damage. When an attack lands at a certain point during an enemy's attack animation, you can get extra bonus counter damage. Most dragons are weak to pierce damage. I believe the Ice Dragon in Mountain Top of the Giants is one of the few that is not weak to pierce damage. Dragons also take more damage to headshots. So having a large weapon equipped with the Ashen Board Giant Hunt, specifically to land headshots, is a great strategy. It can make dealing with these pesky foes a little bit more tolerable. Giant Hunt on this plus zero lance with near base stats makes short work of this dragon here at the beginning of the game. Thanks for tuning in. Please check out my other videos for other useful tips.